All right, guys, talking about Lucas transmission fix. Um, before you put this in your transmission, you really want to know how it works, don't you? So watch this video. I'm going to show you what Lucas does to your transmission. I'm going to show you what it'll fix and what it won't fix. So uh, let's get started. Number one, uh, stop slips. Yes, it can stop slips. How does it do it? Well, it has a seal softening agent in it, and what it does is it will soften those old seals that are in the drums, that are in the uh, uh, clutch packs, and those old seals, uh, when they get hard, they will not hold pressure. So say your vehicle is cold, you start it up, you pull it down into gear, slow engagement or something like that, uh, this could take care of that problem if you're having issues with a seal that has hardened up. I'm going to show you, I'm going to get Cody to zoom in on this seal, and I'm going to show you a transmission that has had this Lucas in it, and where they put too much Lucas in it, they cause themselves more issues than if they would have, uh, if they would have used the, the product right. So look right here, and you'll see this seal. You see how that seal won't match this part anymore? Look at that. It's, it's actually coming away from the part. It doesn't have any spring back to the part. And watch when I, when I put a new seal on it. Look how this new seal fits. Uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about, the difference in, in that. Look at that. See how that new seal, I can push on a little bit and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't come out. And even if it does, it'll spring right back. Well, let me put the uh, part. Let me put the seal back in it that was uh, that Lucas was used on, and I'm going to show you. Look at that. What that's going to do is that's going to come out, and it's going to catch, and it's going to roll up, and it's going to destroy the transmission. Lucas is a good product. The problem that Lucas is uh, with Lucas is is you'll look right here, and let me find it here. Um, right here. Never use it in a CVT. That, that's one thing that you do not want to put. Make sure that you don't have a CVT uh, uh, transmission. And then the other is, uh, let's see here if I can find it. Yeah, right here. It says, let me read it to you. It says, add to existing transmission fluid with engine warm and idling and with fluid change. A second bottle may be necessary in larger or badly worn transmissions, smaller transmissions, compact or subcompact vehicles use 12 ounces. This is a 24 ounce bottle. If you put this whole bottle in a compact vehicle, you are doubling the dosage. But most people look at that and they say, Okay, put 12 ounces, you put 12, two bottles in a big transmission, and you only put 12 ounces in a compact. So they don't even look to see how much this bottle is. They just start pouring it in there because they're thinking maybe this is just 12 ounces. Most people won't even read that. But that's, that's the problem that, that you have with Lucas. You do not want to put too much in it. That's what happened to this seal is it's got too much of it on it and it will roll this seal. I don't care what kind of vehicle you have, this stuff is a good product, but I would not put over a half a bottle in any vehicle. It does not matter the size of the transmission. They do not give a good enough description on how much to use of this product and therefore it will ruin transmissions because, and I have had people to come in, but it will run transmissions because of uh, overdosing. I've had people to come in and tell me they put Lucas in their transmissions and they ran another year or two and, uh, and their transmission's done great. And that, that's good, it is a good product. You just have to know how to use it. Here's another thing. This product stops leaks. There's nothing in this product that is uh, any more than just a seal softener as far as stopping leaks, 
uh, stopping slips or anything like that. There's nothing, nothing really there other than that. So what you have on your seals, check out this seal here. Most people don't know, but right behind this seal, you see that spring right there? That spring is what holds your seal out against the shaft. Now what happens is, is this seal gets worn or gets old and it starts laying back and it starts leaking around it because it's hardened and the spring can't do its job anymore. So once the Lucas starts softening the seal up, then the spring can start doing its job again and pushing it out against that shaft. That's how it will seal a, uh, a transmission up uh, you know, this, this product says that it has a, uh, uh, it'll stop leaks. That's how it stops leaks. Uh, if you have a pan gasket leaking, this stuff is probably not going to fix your pan gasket leak. But if you have a front seal that is leaking, or you have a rear seal that is leaking, uh, maybe even a, uh, you know, uh, like a linkage shaft seal leak leaking, then this product would probably uh, take care of those leaks. But that's good because you can change your pan gasket yourself. But what I'm saying is this product's probably not going not gonna to fix a, uh, a pan gasket leak. So anyway, uh, covering that, um, how to use this. If you put this in your transmission and you expect it to stop slipping or stop leaking the next day, it's probably not gonna stop leaking or slipping the next day. This product takes time. It takes time to soften a seal up this much. It takes a, a, a good while, probably months to get a seal that soft. Uh, so you, you will wanna put this product in your transmission and you will wanna drive it for uh, a few weeks and then estimate on whether or not it's doing its job. Now, one thing about stopping slips or stopping leaks uh, this product does have a, uh, a, it will fix like a sticking shift valve. So if you put it in a vehicle and you have a sticking shift valve, then, uh, then it could break that valve free. That valve could be uh, causing you a slip in between shifts, maybe just a flare up. Uh, and this product could, could solve that problem for you again be sure not to use more than you need in your vehicle. And the bad part about the description on how much to use of this product, the, the thing that I really don't like about the description on how much to use is the fact that some of the bigger vans that are out there, the, um, uh, I know Dodge makes a, a, a big uh, van in their fleet that has a small van transmission in it, the, the, uh, uh, the 62 TE transmission in it. That transmission is, is you know, uh, it doesn't have that many quarts of fluid. You're talking about nine or 10 quarts of fluid in that transmission. So, you know, you would look at that big van and you would look at this bottle and you'd think, well, gosh, that, it has to have a big transmission, but it doesn't. So make sure you know your transmission before you add this product. Uh, because just because your vehicle is big does not mean it has a big transmission in it. Uh, all that has changed through the years. It used to be years ago that if you had a big car, you had a big transmission. It's not that way anymore. It's the same way with engines. Uh, you know, the, the engines out there are, are smaller and, uh, and the cars are bigger. So uh, make sure that you know what transmission that you're adding this in and how much. Like I said, I would never put more than a half a bottle of this in my transmission, no matter what size my car was, and then estimate on what it's done or what it's changed in the future within three to four weeks, and then assess it from there and go, if you wanted to change your fluid and maybe add another half of the other half of the bottle, that would be, it. That would be the best idea. But anyway, um, that about covers everything. Uh, as far as the seals, the valves, everything on this product. Guys, it is a good product. I'm not bashing this product. I know there's guys on there that do bash this product, but I'm not because I have seen it work. It does soften seals. You just cannot over 
over uh, use this product because it will destroy your transmission. Another thing, if your vehicle calls for LV, LV is a thin fluid. Uh, LV is uh, uh, low viscosity, which means it's a thin fluid. I don't really recommend this for LV transmissions. This part right here is out of a 6L80. It calls for an LV. Um, so I really wouldn't use this product on a, on a transmission that calls for LV fluid. And I'm gonna show you why. You look at this, look at how thick that stuff is. And an LV is called for low viscosity, which means that they want the fluid to move through the system quick. Um, if you do put this in your transmission, if you are gonna use this in your transmission, the best way to do it is to take a quart of transmission fluid uh, and, a, and a bottle of this and put, the bot, put half of this into a half of quart of transmission fluid, shake it up real good and thin that down before you pour it in. I can always tell when someone's used this uh, because whenever I pull the stick out in, in any transmission, you see it stringing, that, that is still stuck in that tube. It's, it's bad to use it that way. You don't wanna, uh, you don't wanna just pour it straight into your transmission, add it to the recommended fluid for your vehicle, uh, a half a bottle of this with some transmission fluid, shake it up real good, mix it up real good, and then pour it in. That way you'll get it in there and, uh, and you, know, you won't cause all that when you, start, when you go to pull the stick out of your transmission and, and it's hard to get in and out of there because this stuff is, is very sticky. So, uh, but anyway, I guess that's all I got to say about this product. Um, just be careful with it. And like I said, it is a good product. You just have to use it accordingly. So uh, I hope you like this video and please subscribe.